What's up, my kids? Good morning, today we're looking at more combat one again. And today I got a lot of stuff to show y'all. Wait, is there a lot of stuff? Yeah, I got a lot of stuff to show y'all. So let's get into it, cause damn, if Mortal Kombat one had these patches, bro, I just put it on God, Jesus, and everybody above. The game would be greater than ever. I have three screenshots from Twitter. They came from USS Crazy Bat. Let me show y'all his tweet real quick. Boom. The community has spoken. Mocha Bat 1, this is a comprehensive a list of quality of life improvements for single player training online and the players who have recommended. I mean, that have players that players have recommended. Why did I read past that word? Goddamn. Okay. Starting with this first doc, starting with this first page. This is a community requested fixes a quality of life improvements document. First off, general. Scroll wheel and shot menus. Now I know a lot of people have been having trouble, like on the side. There's no scroll wheel. So nobody knows that you should really go down and think that's the end of the page no bro in case y'all didn't know because i knew that i didn't need help with this i just went down one day and it worked like first day on the game i was like well let me go down and see what happens it worked everybody who don't know that i'm pretty sure y'all know that now but in case y'all did it there's no scroll wheel in the shop and nothing just scroll down bro just keep going until it don't go no more you'll be fine offline content and inventory many have reported they cannot access purchase content when offline now i have not had this problem so i can't really speak on it but i understand where they're coming from visible locked items there's currently Oh my god. Now this, this would be crazy. If we could see the unlocks like we were getting before we even get them, it'd be so much better for me and everybody else so we can know where grinding towards and know if we want it or not. I mean, if we unlock it, that's cool, but I would love to see what it is to know, oh, okay, if I finish Mastery Rewards for Scorpion, I'm getting this. Let's go. Pen and moves to the HUD. I don't even got to read this one. Why can't we do that? Why, what was the point of taking that out the game? Like, I have traded the training mode trying to pin the move. I'm pressing triangle. I'm like, nigga, why is it not working? I mean, I got used to it now, so it, it kind of helped me because now I, I just memorized what to do. So it helped me out. But I ain't gonna lie, pinning the moves would be way easier than me having to click pause. What does that say? Click pause. What's the combo? Click pause. It would have been so much easier, bro. But I'm, I'm past this up. I ain't mad no more. But nigga, add it anyway. Intro dialogues. Let's speak on this because intro dialogues is not in the classic towers, it's not in rank. But it's only in local matches and online casual. Ranked in classic towers will be fire, but niggas are probably skipping anyway. But add it anyway, cause give us option, bro. Cause rank pit me straight in that match, like nothing. Connected match, boom. You connect, you straight in that hole. All right, I make this mistake a lot, so I just quickly stopped the recording to make sure I was good, cause I still had my face cam too big. So I'm gonna show y'all everything it says. You got the scroll wheel, offline, visible. Pending moves, intro dialogues, cost me loadouts. That's where I was. Like I was saying, before I stop my recording, so I'm making sure I want to make sure everything is good. So, cost me loadouts is basically you have three to load out. So you know how Scorpion can have a certain mask or no mask or a certain color palette, all that. They want to have a certain gear piece and a certain palette. That's costume one. Costume two would be this gear piece, different palette. Costume two because we already got the favorite system. But instead of being random, let's just have three things that we already want. I mean, we can have random anyway. All I think is randomizing is the gear pieces and the palettes. What if we want a certain gear piece at frame? Pilot for that costume. That's what they're asking for. Just costume presets, basically. The shrine. Shrine only allows one rule at a time. Offering 10,000 coins. The shrine takes a long time to do. Go to the shrine. Go that 1,000 coins in there. It takes way too long extra seconds that we don't need. But we could just easily have 10,000 coins. Hand long arrows. And it'd be way easier like that. I swear it'd be so easier because I got 20,000 coins. Well, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. But if I go 10,000, 10,000, that'd be too easy rolls. And I'm out of there. The ability to skip cards outro, such as MKX. Now, outro skip, that don't really bother than me mastery xp for slightly per faster progressions yes nigga purchase excess coins or seasonal currency master x and mastery xp basically they just want to progress with their um character masteries way easier way quicker other than doing the one triple threat or the one endurance that we got to do in invasions this would be a good idea add that actually please because i already gotta i gotta finish smoke gotta finish reptile havoc rako nigga that's a lot of grinding i'm gonna do it anyway though notification clear no player to clear new notification for customized collection and eh, it's not that big a deal to me but I, eh, it will come in handy next one we got we got invasion of training i start with evasions faster travel between those the travel between those could be increased no yes 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 because i stay getting ambushed damn time and i got the thing so i don't get ambushed for 20 nodes but i want to zoom through these hoes preview rewards gateway towers and nodes i don't know anything about that players should be able to see what the rewards for completing node or tower i guess yeah but i don't really um mm, i see how that could help some people that just wouldn't help me bird's eye view zoomed out allow players to view a large section of the mesa from top down perspective in order to out navigation let's zoom out we see the whole map and be like okay i completed this side so don't go that way i completed this side so don't go that way it'd be way easier so i could find which way to go because i get confused a lot running around in that hole when i run back in a mesa and i start from some node and i don't know if i gotta go left or right i get confused trying to figure out where i gotta go increase speed of camera rotation yes revise talent drops and management 
having to constantly delete. Yo, I hate this, man. I will be in there doing like a no, and then all of a sudden, I get the talisman. Now I gotta get the delete and stuff. Please, please, please. Inventory space could be expanded. Our talisman drop rates could be lower because, nigga, when we're done evasion mode, that just becomes a little hassle. It's not the biggest thing, but I'm wasting like 15 seconds getting rid of this. Come on, bro. Bigger inventory? I don't even gotta say anything about this. Yes. Players have reported struggling to balance. Yes, bro. Mask and keys. We're struggling because we have no space. Their indicators are completed past. Bro, I literally just said that. I No more nodes are complete. I literally just said that. Tracking our stats per mess. The visual markers are confused. Um, five. Okay, this would be fine. I didn't think of this, but we're tracking our stats. So basically, it's be like, let's say we have five tests in this mess, and it, you already opened like two of them. It's going to show you up here. Well, let's say we already completed like two out of 25. So it shows up here. So we know how long, how many um more nodes we got to complete or how many more chests we got to open. That, that's a good idea. Shout out to whoever had that idea. I like that. Last secret fight, increased reward. Secret fights are really bothering me. I kind of enjoy it. I mean, we could have better rewards for secret fights, but it don't matter. Allow a change of direction while in between nodes. Yes. Because if you're running straight to another node, you can't turn around or do nothing. You got to run straight there. Or you're going to, or... Mm, you most likely might get ambushed too. AI feature. Yo, I, I, I've been wanting this since the game first came out. Imagine if we could just had an AI run through all the nodes and all that you got to do was um, move out stick this way or that way or up or down. So they could, and they just complete every single fight like we had in MK11. Bro, I love that. You got, I was in them towers grinding for them Aaron Black. I had the AI noob with the right preset just fighting everybody while I sat back and ate chips. Nigga, I was enjoying myself. Okay, training. Quick cameo selected practice menu. Yeah, I would like that. I would like to be able to quickly just select my cameo. Just like, okay, I don't want you Sonya no more. Boom, I switch the sector. Because I still don't know how every cameo works or who works with who. I'm still getting used to it. Directional reset. Low player to press it. Yes, 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 yes. We don't have that. I thought we had that. Because I'll be over here with my I'll be over here with my um controller pressing left and holding it and holding it. And my player won't move to the left. I keep going to the middle. Please allow players to reset. Use the reset button to go to a different spot on the um um stage because bro, I would love that. You tell string information, punishment information, um punishable gaps and strings. Yeah, I could use that too because there's a few gaps I didn't know was in my smoke strings. Character options. Characters with secondary meter or install should have an option to fill them and capacity as regular meter characters like Garrett should have. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't I haven't used Garrett yet, so I wouldn't know about that. Reduce auto block reset after the trainer dummy has blocked the follow up short in the reset time. Yeah, because we, it's kind of a long time, so I agree with that. Disable HUD option for players capture footage of cinematic style i'm not saying nothing just yes nigga last but not least online and rank additional casual rooms and lobbies feature says mk9 yes bro yes wi-fi filter connection strength yes i'm gonna read the rest of it. i know it's about to say yes you king of the hill lobbies that allow advice to casual in order to fill yes yes i'm agreeing with everything so far online practice yes 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 all my practice during Q allow us to enter practice mode like Street Fighter got. I think Tekken has it too. Why don't Immortal Kombat have that? I'm sitting here waiting for somebody to come into the lobby when I can be over here practicing my combos. I mean, I could go into the practice, but nigga, just give it to us. It's not that hard. Loading indicator. Some players have highlighted they need a visible loading indicator for online load times. Uh, I don't know. I haven't had that. When I was display. <laughs> That sounds good until you're going against somebody you got like a zero chance of winning. <laughs> you go and leave every single time. Individual character rank slash matchmaking. Some players just have floated the idea of separating rank by character and then I immediately dropped in deep end. Okay. Hey, yeah, that means combat league, but I just didn't read that part. Online rewards, dailies for dragon crystals, offered time crystals for playing rank matches and successful win streaks. I didn't know that. I, well, they, they did do that. I remember. I remember. I remember. I was going to say I don't remember, but I remember they did that. Online character stats. Individual character stats display most of you character um i don't really care about that and match ping display oh niggas would hate that but i would love that character change card that has the lost match switch cards during the set not just their cameo which was standard mk11 i can't be do that bro we're gonna like, switch cameo like what the fuck unless it's a casual match it's a casual match that you can switch whatever but if it's a uh, combat league because basically that's what that's talking about only switch cameos input q issue many players are reported that the inputs are spilling over at the interaction it's a complete example for the ice cream and so zero dropping and being hit ice cream ice cream ice ball I know exactly what they mean by that, bro. I know. When I'm playing smoke. In game mute options. Players on console have reported no built in mute comp. Yes, yeah. I don't have this issue because I have been parties before I record, but I see how a lot of people would. That would be an issue. Last but not least, PC bugs. Nothing over here. I can agree with when it comes to PC because I play a console, but I'll just read it anyway. 60 FPS move. That's fire. Give them that. They're, no, they are PC. They should have that. Player 2, no customization. Player 2 is supposed to use Z for. Oh, oh, for real? I know that. Graphics, audio settings, reset. Reported graphics, auto resetting after closing, restart. 
start the game. Damn, for real? Animation glitches. Reptiles, lizard lips, twitch constantly, and DA Scopey's mouth does not animate. Some lip flaps are for mercy. Damn, them niggas is going through it over there when it comes to the graphics. But other than that, this is the tweet that all the Mortal Kombat community has came together for. They picked this together, and everything here I can agree with 100%. Maybe it's like one or two things that don't really bother me, but everything here, bro, if MK1 had all these changes, dang would be better. Forget nerfing anybody. I like everything on this list. Now I'm gonna get to the next video. I'm gonna see you next video. It's your boy King, and I'm about to lie, bro. If MK1 had this, it'd be best game right now. Part two in this bitch, better know that I'm back. When I ride around the city, keep a limited strap. Be for real, who you tricking? I ain't falling for the trap. Nigga thinking that he in it, cause he put it in his rap. I've been chilling for a minute, got a mask.